I want to show you today how to focus a webcam in DragonFrame and how to adjust exposure settings. In this example, I have connected a Logitech Brio 4K. It's important to know that not every webcam supports focus and exposure settings, but certainly most Logitech webcams do. So to start with focus, you can focus in either the animation or cinematography workspaces. We're currently in the animation workspace here and you're gonna look for this crosshairs icon below the viewing area. Press that and you get the focus controls. So at the top, we have a slider and you can adjust that. I'm gonna bring our little elephant into focus. Um, and you can also use the buttons to adjust the focus as well. And then we have the same tool from the cinematography workspace, crosshairs icon again and it brings up the same tool. I can take it out of focus or bring it back. And uh, just to check, we'll take a test shot. Now we're looking at our test shot and we, if we zoom in here, it's a little much, it is very in focus. Now let's look at exposure settings. In Dragon Frame 5, these are shown in the camera settings area of the cinematography workspace. The settings that your webcam support will vary by model, but the ones you see here are pretty standard for Logitech cameras and many others. At the top, we have output format. This is actually a dragon frame setting. You can choose TIFF or Find JPEG. TIFF is going to be really large files, but lossless. Find JPEG will be slightly lossy, but will be much smaller. Frame averaging is another dragon frame feature that allows you to uh, average consecutive frames. This will get rid of noise or can be used as a little bit of blur if you move things during the capture. The input size is also important. This is listing the different available sizes for your camera. Here we have a 4K webcam and we're going with that. Now you might notice that the live view is only 1280 wide. Um, DragonFrame wants to scale down the live view, the video assist images, so that it can play them back in real time. Uh, you can increase this width to 1920 in the preferences playback. But now we're going to look at the exposure settings. Here we have a bunch. And the first thing you're going to want to do, you can leave this how it is, but the first thing you're probably going to want to do is turn off anything auto. So here we have auto exposure, and that says 1, and auto white balance, 1. Uh, 1 is a very computery way of saying on. We're going to turn that to 0, which is off. And oh, now my exposure doesn't look very good, but that's okay because I can adjust it manually and get it to where I want, about there. And the same with white balance. And now I want to adjust that. And if you don't set those manually, then what can happen is if things in your scene change, if you bring in things with different colors or the lighting changes, the webcam itself might try to adjust the white balance or the exposure level and make it shift over time. It might introduce some sort of flicker or some effect that you don't want. So here we have it set up in Dragon Frame 5. Here we have the same scene in Dragon Frame 4. I just wanted to show you that the webcam exposure settings are not in camera settings. We still have the output format and frame averaging. But in Dragon Frame 4 and 3 as well, if you want to change the webcam exposure settings, you have to go to Capture, Video Settings. And you'll see here we have the same set of settings. They're all there, but it's just in a different place. So now you know how to set up your webcam for focus and exposure in Dragon Frame 4 and 5. Happy animating.